This video is part of my gestational diabetes series and it's the most important thing that you need to master if you are pregnant and um, diagnosed with gestational diabetes. On today's video I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to use your blood sugar monitor this is something that you're gonna be doing every single day unfortunately for me it was three times a day and it's definitely something that took me a little bit to get good at meaning um, having it be fast and efficient and not taking two or three pricks so the very first day I received my blood sugar kit I struggled very hard to get that very first blood sugar reading because the instructions weren't as clear as I had hoped. It definitely has an art to it and if you don't know exactly what you're doing, it's going to take you three to four different tries and you're going to be pricking all your fingers, um, just hoping to get a result and shoving the little testing strip in there and getting frustrated like I did the very first day. So that's why I thought um, if I'm going to touch on gestational diabetes, I might as well show you guys how to use the blood sugar monitor. Okay, so to start off, you can see I have everything together in this little pouch, the kit, um, my log, and a pen. In your kit, you're going to find everything you need. This includes the testing strips, the monitor, the lancets and the lancet pen um, which is what you use to prick your finger for the test i personally change my lancet every single day there's people that change it every use and there's people that never change it so i think a good in between for me was every single day the reason you want to change it often is because whenever you need it you want it to be nice and sharp you want a nice sharp needle to be able to get a good drop of blood. The numbers around the pen are one through five and I always keep it at five because it's the strongest. And if you're gonna prick your finger anyway, you want it to be fast and efficient and have a good drop of blood. You don't wanna keep retry and keep testing with the lower ranges. So next you're gonna open your testing strips and get one out and then you wanna immediately close that back up. Okay, so as you can see, the side that goes into the monitor is the gray one that looks kind of like a chip. That's going to be the part that you're going to insert into the testing monitor. It's important to make sure that your testing strip is all the way in and how you know that is that your monitor is going to instantly light up and start working. I grab the monitor with my left hand and then with my right, I grab the pen and test my finger. Once the little poke is done and you see the little drop of blood forming, I always like to massage the area around it so I get a bigger drop of blood because with the initial just poke, you are never gonna be able to test. That's way too little. Um, you need to massage the area and get a good droplet of blood. A good amount of blood is a bead size. So once you see that little bead forming, place your testing strip against the blood sample. So you want to make sure you're holding your finger nice and steady and the testing strip is going directly in front of the droplet of blood. The monitor is going to go to work and I like to hold it in place just to be safe. Next, I like to rinse my finger and pat it dry with a clean towel. And your test is all done. To remove the testing strip, you're just gonna hold that button that's below the screen and toss your little strip into the trash. This 
is the log I used to record my results. Um, I, it's super easy to make. I actually made this one just using numbers in my computer and transferred it to a JPEG. That, that way I can print it out pretty much anywhere and have extra copies with me. Once I'm done, I put my little kit back together and I grab my log and my pen and put everything back into my designated bag. That way I have everything together with me when I have to do my testing. Hey you guys, and that's it for the video. Um, I got kicked out of the room because Franco wants to lay down and doesn't want to see all the lights. So I just wanted to say goodbye and I hope some of you guys find this video helpful. So if you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. For now, I'm signing off. Uh, see you guys until next time.